4.39 on the 5th of September and I'm just after experiencing disruption throughout my night's sleep and um, it's all pertaining to the matter of individuals that have become preoccupied with my um, properties. Um, not only have they disrespected my nuptials, they've disrespected my child but they have now also caused disruption in my current environment and the current environment that I um, originally moved to in 2019 was quite impeccable but as I've said there have been individuals that have been of developments that are quite hazardous and um, are harmful to life so these individuals have been quite careless in their um, mindset with regard to what they own and what they don't own. Um, they've been quite cheeky with regard to uh, many aspects of the Human Rights Declaration and my experiences as a humanitarian. So um, this upload is just for my own records with regard to the experiences I'm having of individuals trespassing and intruding um, where they've no right to be and that are being really careless with regard to my family and how they've been behaving against my family. So it's quite serious when um, individuals are as intrusive and disrespectful and discourteous and cheeky as they have been in my circumstances. It's really not pleasant when people disrespect a person's matrimony and it's even quite more serious when a child is harmed. And I... Um, making it very explicitly clear the unlawful care order of my child in January 2017 was an unforgivable offence. The harms he experienced, unforgivable. There isn't any uh, reparations for any harm to an innocent child, particularly in these circumstances. Um, the other issue is the issue of misrepresentation of the facts and people not sharing proper information. Defamation of my character has also been occurring and I've worked very honestly for the betterment of society. So this entire situation has been quite hurtful um, to my reputation and my good name. And um, for the fact that I have um, O'Regan and O'Higgins and McElligot in my paternal bloodline and my maternal bloodline, the issue of my, um, my ancestors being disrespected is quite offensive as well. So um, there's been people, there have been people quite cheeky um, disrespecting uh, my good work. And um, as I've mentioned, uh, not um, honouring their obligations. Um, there have been individuals that have been quite hypocritical with regard to what they preach and what they practice. And um, to be very honest, what I've tolerated has been quite unbearable. So there's living conditions that have been harmed and there is uh, purposeful work that has been disrespected with regard to the classroom and the farm and my role as a mother and um that is not that's not that's not that's not positive in a modern day and age so i didn't get married to be disrespected not any woman gets married to be disrespected um so this raises the issue of women and children's rights so um the present upload is just with regard to people's silly behaviors regarding their malice and avarice and how they're damaged with blind greed and how they are disrespecting centuries old uh, traditions and heritage and bloodline etc. In the past three years the failed attempts of very dangerous matters that they have caused are liable matters, liability matters etc etc. So I'm quite surprised um, with regard to um, environment and health and wealth being damaged in a respectable day and age. I am very surprised that there are people that have been quite offensive to my child and I, and the law and the constitution and the declaration of the human rights um, expectations and such entitlements for all human beings um, to be accommodated by individuals that are of fraud and falsehoods and fallacies. So it would be really, really amazing if, um, 
courage and bravery could be epitomised by professionals, practitioners and politicians that are respectful of family units and the women of the world that have laid positive foundations, as I keep reiterating, and that have positively influenced the world and society. So um, I'm particularly referencing 2018, when since there have been um, very positive developments throughout the uh, society that I am of. So um, this is just an upload with regard to the disruptions I'm experiencing in society and the authorities that aren't respecting the obligations that are being are to be fulfilled to my royal title and my royal lineage and my child and property. So that's quite serious when there's an issue with authorities not respecting um, my circumstances, especially when there have been transformations for authorities in this country that were quite severely um, exposed to damaging circumstances. So that's not so long ago. And um, those authorities that I'm referencing um, are fully aware of how difficult the transformations of the past two years have been. Um, cleaning house in 2018 wasn't exactly an easy job for me, but it really impacted many facets of society. So it's really careless and quite offensive to my good work as a humanitarian. And I'm quite offended, but anyway, I do expect the human rights agencies to resolve these matters. It's quite serious. And um, I'd appreciate the authorities doing a proper job in society. That would mean addressing the issue of an unlawful care order of my child and um, addressing the issue of people of property and financial theft and slander. That would be really fantastic if authorities could, you know, approach these matters. It's quite dangerous what I'm tolerating. And um, as I've said, laying new foundations to society in 2018, as I did, um, wasn't to encourage this kind of fraud that I'm experiencing again. So I'd really appreciate those being cheeky about my property and my matrimony to be um, really conscious about what they're doing because it's really serious harming my child and I. Any child and I, or any other way.